back to the channel. I'm your boy, the King of Sneak. This, uh, this video is a bit prompted, but I'm a huge fan of Resident Evil. It's my favourite series ever. Uh, I'd like to be doing Spider-Man, but right now I need a small one in between whilst we set up for the next series. So I figured I'd do a smaller series to make up for it. Uh, hmm, nah. Jill's boring. She's too easy. I don't want easy level. Oh, my button. <laughs> Let's we'll play as Chris. Less items, less defense. Gets hurt a lot more than Jill. And I don't have no backup. Let's do this. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team. Who disappeared during the middle of their mission? No, not yet, Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Must have been hungry. The team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris. Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. That's an eyesore. We continued our search for the other members. And it turned into... a nightmare. There he is, the most useless person in the Bravo, in the Alpha team. <sighs> you just use the butt of your gun to smack him in the head. I gotta stop the first one. Or at least slowed it down. Jill proving how useless she can be. Nice one, Chris. How are they outrunning these dogs? Hey, Brad! Where the hell's he going? Chris, this way. Nice one, let's go. Three stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. What happened to Barry? We don't know where Barry is. I don't know. He's running with you. What the fuck happened to him? Is everyone all right? You take a shortcut. Barry, where's Barry? He's. No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. Sure thing. Let's go. Woo! No ribbons.
plan for one of the most epic moments in gaming history. Well, it's not the original, but this is still pretty good. Nope. Oh. I'm not stupid. I ain't fighting no fucking zombie with a knife. Please. <laughs> Knife's trash. <laughs> I like I can jam it in his head. Wesker? Jill? Where did they go? Maybe it's date night. I'm not doing. I haven't played the game in a long time. I should probably go get the map. I remember where the map is. This one, anyway. I remember where the other are. <laughs> I'm hoping to get to the first boss at the very least. <coughs> but that's um <coughs> it's unlikely in in the time you should probably make videos. Yeah, I'm looking at about twenty minutes of a video. I doubt I very highly doubt I can do it in that time. I don't know where he came from. <sighs> nope. Is it... How do you have fire? Uh oh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> fire it off. There we go. <laughs> Like old school Call of Duty shooting, L1 and R1. Hmm, look up, Ted. The way I'm going, it's a slow start. Oh, more defense weapons. Don't put it away, take it. Take it, we need it. God damn it. Okay, it's fine. Oh, fuck, it's not fine, it's not fine. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. You stop taking my bullets, you bullet sponge. And that issue. We'll pick that up later. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> I don't think I need that just yet, so we'll wait again.
I wonder where that guy went. Ah, fuck it. <clears throat> if he's not there, it's not a problem. If he's not a problem, I do not care what he's doing. Doop -doop -doop. Oh look, more stairs. <clears throat> Doop -doop 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 -doop. Nothing but green bloody herbs everywhere. Oh, that's right, you can't mix like that. You have to do it like this. Boom boom boom. Boom. No, we'll leave that one. We'll leave. Ooh! Ooh! Fuck, you know. Scared me about it. Um, he's over around the corner, is he? There we go. <laughs> Don't need to kill every single one, just need to stun him. Thank you. Oh, bullets. happening in, in this first episode unfortunately this is great. as you've probably seen my um my FIFA video got copy claim right claim so <laughs> I um guess we're not doing FIFA so I had to find one quickly I had another video already set up until I noticed the copyright but if they're gonna tell me that I can't put FIFA videos up or uh, some music or something it's just it's just not um, worth the time because I'm sh I might get copyright again and the more copyrights you get obviously the worse it looks and this series is one of my, like I said one of my favorites so it's easy to use this one instead <laughs> anyway uh, yeah even though um, I can't make um, videos on FIFA or do that kind of thing, I can still talk about the football. So I will try and limit how much I talk about it due to the fact I'm meant to be playing Resident Evil. So I'm just going to say I feel bad for the Scots. They had a they had a pretty rough first game. Germany are not an easy team to face, and Scotland. I mean, they're a good side, but they haven't they haven't got the players. They just haven't got the players to face Germany. And it's unfortunate because it's not a good start for them. The other games, well, they're pretty boring, to be honest. Croatia and Spain could have been a bit more entertaining for my like. I, I, honestly, I don't even know who won. I got bored. I got bored of the game. Very quickly. Very quickly got bored of that game. Ironically, Croatia is the same I was playing there. And I got bored of watching Spain versus Croatia pretty easily. And the Italian game, I honestly didn't even watch. I don't know why, I just didn't watch it. And that'll be... This is the best thing about this game. The zombies here can't attack you as long as you're on these stairs. Well, they can, but they only puke. And if you're not, if you're stupid enough to stand next to a throwing up zombie, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it gives you plenty of signage to move. There it is. Okay, let's see. I'll do that. 
Maybe that. Try that. Let's make our first official save. Whoop whoop. Really? Right now, we should. I, I think we should talk about Resident Evil Nine. Now, I'm not a big fan of what they're planning on doing. I honestly, it's reminded me of what they did when they when they went from four to five. They thought they had the recipe, and they didn't. I feel like it's a big, big, big risk to go. Um, oh, what was it? They're going fucking. They're going like sandbox, like fucking multiplayer crap. Like you can run around and anyone can be there. That just it feels like what they did with five. They went from an amazing game in number four with tight corners, intense pl gameplay, excitement, straight into a nightmare where you're holding on to uh, a gun that's got 200 fucking bullets. It's not Resident. That's not Resident Evil for me. This is Resident Evil, and with, it seems with the remakes, they decided to not remake Five, but remake Code Veronica, which is about bloody fucking time, if you ask me. Three and four should not have came out before Code Veronica. Claire gets no love from this series, and she's one of the favourites in the fucking series. And yet she gets no love, no, no, no time on the fucking games, no time even mentioned half the time. She's not even mentioned. Sometimes I think Chris has forgotten he has a sister. Ah oh, shit, I'm out of bullets. Really want the um. Really, really want this fucking um, Code Veronica to come out, and I want it to be successful because Claire is my second favourite character, right after Leon Kennedy. Yes, both of the ones are number two are my favourites, but they've got they're, they're good fucking characters. They've got good build up, good potential future if used correctly. And even Leon doesn't get as much love as some of the others. He's been mostly relegated to small games. He often turns up in... I'm not even checking the episode, if I can mention. He often turns up in like the smaller games, like the sort of side project, like the um, Chronicle series and stuff like that. I mean, yes, he showed up in number six, don't get me wrong. But, hey, everyone showed up in number fucking six except Jill and fucking Claire. And then a bunch of random people that nobody knew and Sherry Birkin for some bloody reason. No idea why Sherry Birkin was there. Apparently because now she's got this, like, healing ability from her father fucking committing incest 30 years prior or something. Makes no sense. The story makes no sense. The game makes no sense. I really don't know what Capcom are thinking, to be honest. I want them to get their heads together because if they mess up again, I don't know if they can claw back fans a second time. Because we're all dying for great fucking Resident Evil games. And the more they do stupid stuff, the harder it becomes. For a fan to want, want to watch their, um, not watch, I play their games. It's a struggle at the moment. It's a real fucking struggle to want to play some of their games. I'm hoping, like I said, they've got it right this time. If they do release nine as a sandbox sort of game or whatever they're planning on doing with number nine, or open world, whatever it was they're going for. I hope they get it fucking right. Because I'm not going to play Resident Evil 10 if they fuck up again. Because I'm not waiting around another... Another what? What was it? Between 6 and 7? Like 5 years or something? I'm not waiting another 5 years for Resident Evil to fix their shit.
either get it right or stop trying because I'm not running around here begging for a good Resident Evil game when it shouldn't be hard to get the game right. Like with such a loyal fan base, it should be easy to get it right. Okay. But, I mean, I feel like I'm having the right go at Capcom. It's not completely their fault. They're trying to move with the times. But when you move with the times, you've got to move right. If you move wrong, holy shit. You can, you can ruin your fan base with one mistake. Anyway. <clears throat> Load my gun. <sighs> anyway, uh, yeah, I don't want people to think I like, I hate Capcom or I hate Resident Evil or somewhat because it's my favourite series. It really is. I just want it to succeed. I want it to succeed so fucking bad, so bad. And I'm sure there's a lot of fans out there that probably agree with me that we want it to succeed, even though they keep messing up. I want succession. Not success, I want. I want some success from Resident Evil, so we can have a really good game series go on. And if they can't promise success, then stop now. The old saying: Quit while you're ahead. Don't push, because you'll blow it out of the water again. It's just. I'm very passionate about Resident Evil. It was the first game I ever played, Resident Evil 1, the original. First one I ever damn played. And I was like, four. Probably shouldn't be saying that online, but hey. I'm sure there's a lot of people who've probably done similar things. I was terrified though. I didn't even get past the first zombie as a kid. <laughs> Walked up to him, he popped up, jumped up, went to bite me. I panicked, swung my knife like a lunatic and died <laughs> and then never played it for like five years <laughs> so well, it's like, more like eight actually i didn't start playing again till what 2004 when resident evil 4 was out uh, anyway um that's the end of part one i hope you enjoyed and sorry about the ranting but passion's passion and i can't help that anyway I s uh yeah I'll see you in the next one. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you around.